hey guys welcome back to the next video and in this video i will explain how you can automate this process of creating traces let's say you have uh, five or maybe 10 or maybe 15 at the extreme uh, that these are the number of lines so you may have to create trace 0 1 to up till 5 10 or 15 that how many traces that you want to create and that is true for other types of charts as well so how you can automate that is wouldn't it be nice right so that will can save a lot of time in terms of writing and making sure that every syntax is correct and uh, chart is performing fine after that so uh, how we can do that it's it's basically uh, by using what we call it a list comprehension so if you don't know what it is i have uh, shown almost like uh, eight videos somewhere around that six or eight uh, you can go back and check those videos and uh, see see those things in action all right so how we can uh, how we can uh, execute this this automation uh, first thing is that we need uh, to change the format of our data a little bit so what we need is basically away goals and home goals over here in the rows in a in a straight row like this and uh, then the ear is on on the columns right so what i will do then i will say columns is equals to ear and i will keep values as it is so what it will does what it will do is i will show you this is how it will change my my structure it's so pretty easy just change the index Earlier it was index, so it was coming as the first column. I just changed it to year and it has changed my structure because this is how I want it for my automation piece because I want to read away goals in a one single structure and want to read this as, as part of my X values. All right. So the next thing is I will just create a column. I just pressed the, after selecting this, I pressed the B that basically creates the row below so b is what that's what it has uh, uh, the jupiter has uh, uh, you know shortcut of b for creating a row below to the current row or a to create a row up the current row all right um, the next thing is specifying the traces so traces i'm not removing this so that you can see the difference so the traces is I am I am using the brackets because there will be like multiple traces should be a part of a list. So go dot scatter. Everything will be as it is. Um, first thing is x. X is uh, your x axis, which is basically the number of years, and these are nothing but the columns. Okay, so fifa underscore h g dot columns. I think we are good right y is equals to fifa underscore h g sorry h g dot loc to locate the value of what these two columns that is what we will use a for loop to iterate loc by call name whatever there or maybe we can say row name right um then mode is equals to lines you can say you want markers plus lines whatever you want right and uh, name is equals to we will say row name because for each individual row name we will iterate and individual value will be assigned to the name and then we will come over here and we will write the list comprehension formula to, by using the for loop and that is for row name in fifa underscore hg dot index yeah i think it should be sufficient um just go ahead and execute that so no issues that's good I'm not executing this so remember I've, I've kept it as it is but it is not performing anything over here these two things are happening in this code right now and we don't need data because traces is basically working as part of the data if you see I am using the brackets over there so either I can say data 
over here which i am saying it over here so i'm not using this i'm not using this which i used in the previous code um and over here layout is fine um instead of uh, data i will say traces layout is layout go ahead and execute that perfect so that's that's how easy you can see to basically automate you have 10 15 20 25 and number of lines and your life will be easy you know you just do one setting at one time and you are done with your with your charts so that's how you can automate this piece i hope you have found it useful and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic